Well, you have had a lot of success. I want to talk about uh, Red Light in just a minute, which was a big, big hit for you. But you have another one, Turning Home, that's uh, out now that, that was uh, written by Kenny Chesney. How does it happen that you get a song written by a guy like that? Well, he wrote it with a guy named Scooter Caruso, who I wrote a lot of the songs I wrote on the record with. And I found the song, man, three years ago and fell in love with it. It was so much of what I was feeling, you know, just having been in Nashville from a small town for uh, eight, nine years at the time, uh, really contemplating whether or not to move back. It really spoke to me, and I said, you know what, this is a type of song that I can give it one last crack. So we waited through a couple of Chesney records to make sure that he wasn't going to put it on a record. and. Finally, when he realized how passionate I was about the song, he he just said, you know, I think this is where it should be. And when he heard our version, he immediately called me and said, man, this is one of my favorite cuts I've ever had. You sing the crap out of it. And uh, he's just been really supportive since. And uh, I'm finding out now that all of those immediate feelings that I had when I first heard the song, a lot of people, you know, it's graduation time. It references graduation. Right. Um, you know, I think that the high school age kids, it's what they're going through, so they kind of relate to it. And then I think there's a part of us that all, you know, he's always kind of has, the, it's kind of got a Glory Days reference. You know, you, you reflect back to, you know, when you were young and the first time you tried to make love or thought you were making love. And, um, and it's just got, you know, kind of that adolescence feel to it. And um, it, it's just, it's very personal to me, and, I, and I, it's very uh, gratifying to hear people other people out there, fans and stuff, seeing we played a show in Clemson, South Carolina the other day. There were seven huge football players out in the crowd just screaming everywhere. It's <laughs> the most bizarre sight I've ever seen. That's nice when people make an emotional connection to that. And I have to tell you, I, I had an emotional connection to Red Light because the, the theme of that song is kind of you don't know what's going on behind closed doors in other cars. You know, somebody's life may be falling apart while other people are just going to work. A couple of uh, months ago, uh, we went through a, a health scare with a family member, and we were uh, driving away from the hospital thinking it was the last time we were ever going to see him and and I was sitting in the car at a, at a red light and I could not get your song out of my head and wow. I thought I thought wow that you know people don't know what's going on in my car right now yeah. when they're just going to the store or whatever thankfully uh, that family member is better now everything's fine but but that uh, that connection that I had to your song at that moment was really really vivid for me yeah I think that that's just you know um, first off I'm glad that your situation turned out better um, you know with red light everybody always says did somebody actually ever get bro broken up with at a red light? I don't know. I think the glorious thing that the songwriters did was uh, use it as a metaphor for exactly what you just yeah. said. Um, you know, where you sit there at your car, you know, you, you always think it's funny when you see the lady across the street that is completely oblivious that people are around her and she's just singing her little heart out to the Dixie Chick song, you know, like <laughs> as if she's on American Idol. Uh, and then you'll see, you know, a couple over there that's in an argument or you'll see... Uh, you know, the, the the token road rage guy who is really mad that you're not driving fast enough. I just I just think that, it, like you said, life is happening in cars at red lights. And, you know, when people are not sitting there texting, checking their <laughs> Facebook at the red light, you know, there, there's, there, there's just real life, op, you know, things going on. And um, that's amazing. I've never heard, uh, I've heard a lot of stories about red light. I've never ha heard one quite that intense. So, um, that's pretty awesome. Well, pretty David awesome. Nail, th thank you for providing that moment for me, and thanks for being here with us here at CMA well, Music Fest. Once again, Fest. I'm glad that your family's well. All right, and take thank care. Thank you. It's a pleasure anytime. David Nail, live on Country 97.1, Hank FM.